Hey guys, it's uh, uh, April 26, 2019, 3.04 p.m. And it's a Friday afternoon. Da, 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 da. Episode 455. Donald Trump is a dumbass. Uh, I know, breaking news, right? What? Donald Trump, a dumbass? He's stupid? What a good dumb. Uh, there's a lot of things Donald Trump does not understand. He doesn't understand how terrorists work. He doesn't understand the nuclear triad. He doesn't understand how to negotiate. Because normally when you negotiate, you try to get more. You don't come out with like zero after they made you an offer. Um, he doesn't understand that you're not supposed to like lust after your daughter publicly probably not even privately i said probably i mean he's just an idiot he's stupid he's he, 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 stupid uh but um he doesn't understand the whole impeachment process because he says he'll have the supreme court stop it i'm going to have yes the supreme court justice is on there and i'm pretty sure they can just go in there and stop it um supreme court has nothing to do with impeachment nothing nada no impeachment is a legislative and political matter uh, Supreme Court, pay attention kids, if you're a Republican, uh, they are judicial, judicial, they don't have anything to do with it, in fact, they once ruled on a case involving a lower court judge who was impeached that they have nothing to do with it, with impeachment, they stay out of it, um, because it's not in the Constitution, the Constitution lays out impeachment, Congress has every legal right to impeach a president, they can impeach any president that they want to. Uh, the only thing that stops Congress from impeaching is Congress. Um, I'm not talking about the political ramifications. I'm not talking about, you know, that they'll pay the price and suffer if they impeach. Whatever. I'm talking about the whole legal matter. Supreme Court has nothing to do with impeachment. Now, you might go, but Clay, after there's an impeachment, the Supreme Court Chief Justice presides over the Senate trial. Yes, he has nothing to do with impeachment. That's after impeachment. And he can't stop uh, the Senate trial. He can't. He can't. He is the judge. Uh, the senators vote on conviction or not. Or well, they vote. But uh, So, Donald Trump. Stupid. Don't know what he's talking about. He's the president of the United States. He just, you would think that he would just know this kind of stuff, you know? Just, just, just somebody tell him. He would have a better shot at just yelling at Beetlejuice three times uh, to stop impeachment than going to the Supreme Court or trying to go to the Supreme Court. It's like a phone call he'll make and they might have to call him back out of a courtesy just to say, no, dumbass. It don't work that way. All right, let's do some shout outs because we don't have much time today. I did this pretty quick last night. I threw this one at CNN, but it was not the subject they wanted and I already had the idea sketched out before they called me and said, hey, you up for this week? And I said, yes, I am. All right, Robert Cotino said Joe Biden was the only presidential candidate in 2007, uh, 2008, but it was 2007, who said that Iraq's only peaceful solution would be a three-state system. Looks pretty knowledgeable to me. Then TJ came in and said some bullshit. Uh, said, uh, the administration he's part of proceeded to arm ISIS. Uh, the, the, America did not arm ISIS. If anything, the George W. Bush administration created the vacuum in Iraq that created ISIS. In fact, the George W. Bush administration released the leader of ISIS uh, while he was in prison. Um, yes, that is a fact. Go look it up. I don't really like responding to these fucked up conspiracy theories here because it just gets trolling because there's another response that'll be on the next, on this video. That was from the last video and it'll just go on for 15 videos. So I'm not really a big fan of that kind of crap. So, and I'm not saying that you just got to come in here and, and agree with shit that I say, but stay off of this conspiracy crap, people. Uh, Cotino says, it's a damage to our country with just this much fun. I might not scream out in agony every day. Um, yeah, do you want to see the damage to the country? An example is a comment right underneath yours because TJ came back. You're going to criticize a man in the center of liars warning a couple of people whom he can trust. And that was about... Uh, he's criticizing me for um, criticizing Trump for hiring his, his daughter and son-in-law. You know, a couple of people he can trust. Um, that's called nepotism. Do you, do you understand that? And they're not qualified. Oh, yeah, I can trust them. Well, 
that's faith that you can trust them, but that doesn't mean that they are qualified. I trust that they're not qualified. They don't know what they're doing. All right. I didn't even put a whole bunch of emojis here, which is probably about makes as much sense as going to be juice, 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 juice. All right. Errol says she can tell me what sex act, act feathers look like. No need to apologize. I forget that I did. Boy, the stories I can tell you would curl your hair if it weren't already kind of curly. Oh, my hair's not really curly when it's long. It might get a little wavy kind of on the sides or in the back. Whatever, definitely not curly. But uh, I'm gonna let you in a little secret, Ariel. Um, the long hair and beard's been gone for a couple weeks. So. Just ain't posting no photos of it. Uh, don't tell nobody. I want it to be kind of a surprise uh, when I go to the Herb Block next Thursday. All right, it's coming Thursday now. Uh, Errol says, don't feel bad about not really knowing how to pronounce your friend and colleague's name, which finally enough is the name of her dermatologist, uh, who she used to date. Um, Abortion without commitment, probably where you learn about the sex others. I don't know. I don't know how to put that politely. And he still pronounces her first name. How does he mispronounce? He mispronounces your first name. How does he mispronounce Ariel? How, how, what does he call you? Ariel. Ariel? Ariali? Ariola? Ariborealis? How does he fuck up Ariel? It's like when somebody asks me, I go to some place and, and I say my name. And, and they're spelling it, and they're like, and how do you spell that? How do you spell clay? Are you a Republican? <laughs> Honestly. So we are almost done, I think. Yeah, we're getting there. No, we got like another minute. I'm done with the shout outs. <laughs> I had to move this Beetlejuice around to try to figure out how to squeeze it into the cartoon because it landed so well on the rough, but then it didn't land as well uh, when I was uh, putting the, the, original, the real cartoon together. There's your uh, rough. Dun, 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 dun. That was the original rough. And there's your completed cartoon. Um, I did not, was not able to take my nap last night, so um, I did this and I was really, 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 really tired. Then I knew we had to do the CNN cartoon today. But I took a nap for the CNN cartoon for like two hours and I'm still tired. All right, uh, leave a comment. Don't leave any crazy conspiracy theories because I'm really kind of getting tired of that. Not tired because people say stuff I don't want to hear or don't believe in. I just, just don't want to start the whole trolling thing, okay? Uh, click the red button and subscribe, and we will see you on Saturday. Goodbye.